my day job, I'm a, a reader in Cooperative and Social Enterprise at Sheffield Business School. Fair Shares Association is a sort of, it's a very loose network of educators, researchers and consultants who've got an interest in, in multi-stakeholder co-ops. Um, and we've got people in France, in Australia, in New Zealand, um, and, and now in America as well. So there is no way of, of meeting face-to-face -face realistically. Um, and we use Lumio to keep our discussions alive. The philosophy of, of fair shares is to promote more direct forms of democracy over representative democracy. But um, Lumio itself, because of its ability to have nested groups, can have you know high levels of participation in people who are loosely connected, but you can also have sort of um, people who are on governing bodies, if you like. So if you do have representative democracy, you can replicate that in Lumio system. So we, we like the combination of having very open forums where you can have one person, one vote and open debates, but also have a group of members maybe taking a decision around the change of the constitution, for example. I think you make better decisions when you, you have inclusive democratic processes, particularly when it's um, structured in a way that Lumio structures it. Thing in the in the European project, we wanted to use it as a way of engaging a research team with the wider um, network of people interested in, in what was being studied. So that was a project on work integration social enterprises, and there were five countries involved. So the, the fact that you could translate text on Lumio was appealing because people in different countries could be writing in their own language. I do actually quite believe in the integration of users and members of the community into an organisation that has substantial worker involvement or worker control. Fair shares is a philosophy for doing that. It, 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 it can act as a guide to the way that you actually constitute the organisation, but I think more powerfully it's a set of, of principles. You can have a store that recognises who the founders are, who the users are, who the producers are, who the supporters are, and that's the way that fair shares looks at the world. We, we organise around those four interest groups, if you like, um, and we, we've actually set up a, a Lumio site that models the governance. So you actually have the different subgroups as well as everybody in the General Assembly. What Lumio does, which um, just normal email doesn't do, is it gives you like an audit trail of your decisions. It enables you to function like you've got a general meeting on all the time because the members get all of the members get proposals and they get time to consider and, and vote on the issues. And it also enabled people whose voices were normally not heard to exercise their voice more effectively and that people who were usually very dominant, that they weren't as dominant when it was being run through Lumio. I'm quite hopeful that sort of a technology enabled um, sharing economy where the organisations in the sharing economy are, are cooperatively owned rather than owned by you know, owned by absentee investors. We, we, will, we will gradually work towards a, a genuine participatory democracy at work. So it's the marriage of technology and the thinking in fair shares that I think will create um, the ability for different constituent groups to really bargain with each other as equals.